my family said that I wanted to fly ever since I was big enough to look over the side of a crib. And I really have. Space has always uh, interested me. And uh, I signed, I wanted to sign up. I was going to be number one, but they told me I had to go sit down. So I waited and uh, 10 men signed up. And uh, then I jumped up and I said, now can I sign up? Knowing Lieutenant Colonel Gurton has been one of the greatest experiences in my life. She is just a great example and leader and she really shows what it's like to be a real person. One time we were out at Pocahontas and it was at night and she was out there in her wheelchair in the dark operating the radio. So she's been an inspiration to me. Well, I became a member on December 1st, 1941 when it first started. There were uh, mostly men, and so they let me sign up and said, you're number 11, but I don't know whether you can keep it because you're so young, but I did keep the number 11. So until this day, I still have number 11. Number 11 actually is in front of my number today. To be a part of a squadron named after her, it has been a true inspiration for me as a cadet and now as a senior member. Um, it is an honor to be a part of a legacy that will last for many lifetimes. Having something named for you, uh, well, to tell you the truth, it is a, a big honor because things are usually named after people are dead. It's kind of unusual and I, I can't get used to it. This is a person who was there from the beginning of the Civil Air Patrol, who joined on the first day and who has continuously served for 78 years now since that first day. So she is our connection uh, to uh, you know, to the past, to the beginning of the Civil Air Patrol. During the wars, we had a war room located in the basement of the Broad Street Railroad Station, which is now the Science Museum. And we were down in what they called the bowels of the station because it was safe. Then we had a big, huge map and we would plot the planes as they came across. We would plot them all the way across the, st the state. Colonel Gurdon has been an amazing part of our squadron. It's really interesting to think about how she's an original link to the first start of CAP. I formed my own cadet squadron back in 1952 and I commanded it by myself for, for 11 years. One of my cadets was the first one to go to the Air Force Academy, first class at the Air Force Academy, and graduated top of his class. Having Colonel Gurdon here continuously is, one, just, it's unheard of, really, if you think about it. But the fact that she has all these years of experience and can tell stories that just captivates both cadets and senior members and encourages them to want to be better for everything that they want to do in life. You know, if she could do it, they can do it. And I want to learn things. You never can tell when you're going to need them. And uh, I just en enjoy it. I met uh, Chuck Yeager and uh, I actually danced with him. That's an interesting thing, too. Uh, some of the people said, uh, I bet you danced with Chuck Yeager. I said, how do you know you weren't even there? And they said, uh, well, when I came into the hotel, my feet were six feet off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so I think for cadets to be able to see a 90-something a young lady participating in ES, People don't realize that she still is a radio operator. She'll go jump on the radios. She wants to keep doing stuff and we have to keep holding her back because otherwise she had her way. She'd be literally flying the airplane everywhere she goes. <laughs> um, and I think for everybody to see the fact that her son is almost, in some cases, seven years older than them doing this stuff uh, is an inspiration to them. It's just amazing uh, the example that she has set 
for everyone to follow. Her dedication here has really shown how you can change an organization. Having Lieutenant Colonel Gurton here is just, it's an amazing experience for everybody because it really shows dedication, not just to the organization, but really to the country and, and showing what service is outside of yourself and really having that sense of servant leadership. She doesn't quit and she doesn't complain. And I think that she's very, she's inspired cadets to reach beyond themselves. I just enjoy working with the cadets and seeing them advance. And I think Civil Air Patrol is the most wonderful thing that a youngster could get into. My motivation is to just uh, keep the cadets going and make them better, better boys and girls, so to speak. Or I should say men and women.